Hello, my name is Moonpie, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to take a look at something that will dramatically improve your ability of playing Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition. Not quite. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the introductory cinematic videos that you experience every single time you load the game. Now, I'm sure you're familiar with them, but we'll quickly load to Age of Empires now, and there are four videos that are actually displayed to you. Now, these are not particularly annoying, um, but obviously to skip through, you're gonna have to smash the space bar four times. So we have the Xbox Studios, three, and then you have the traditional Age of Empires three video that gives me feels every time I watch it, but we're gonna skip it, unfortunately. But then obviously you're in the game. So it's obviously n not a massive inconvenience to have to skip them every single time. But it's a very slight inconvenience, right? Especially at the point that Age of Empires is right now, where you're having to restart the game after every game to avoid the memory leak issue that is currently existing. Now, in the future, this issue is probably not going to exist, but obviously every time you start the game, you're going to be getting the introduction, uh, introductory cinematics. But it's actually quite easy to remove them. So you're going to hit exit. You're going to go to your Steam library. And you're going to find where Definitive Edition actually is within your Steam library. Now, for some reason, after you've actually exited Age of Empires 3, it continues going for an extended period of time. I'm not sure why that is, but I hope that's going to be resolved as well. But basically, all you're doing, and this works for any game on Steam, is you go to Properties, you go to General, which is the first tab it shows you, and in Launch Options, you're going to put Plus, No Intro, Cinematics. Simple as that. You hit a little X, and the next time you load Age of Empires 3 Definitive Edition, or any game within Steam for that matter, it should load directly into the menu. Now, some games do have videos that you're not able to skip, but it'll hopefully skip some of the, the longer or numerous introductory videos that you experience. So just like that, you're straight in. So again, a very short video today, but just talking to people um, through Twitch is just that some people are not aware of this. So I thought I'd make a quick video that just explains how to actually remove those introductory videos. But that's pretty much it for today's video. Feel free to come and check me out on Twitch or join the Discord. But whatever the case, I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day slash night and I'll catch you again another time. Bye.